Gentleman, point of order. Dr. Kennedy Graham, point of order. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd be very grateful if you were able to explain the distinction between SOP 144, which uh, involves changes to the price cap, which, I'm t which obviously, in the Chair's opinion, is not to be ruled out of order because it did not attend to fiscal issues, and SOP 147, which is regarded as addressing fiscal issues. Yes, um, <clears throat> the, um, the SOP in, in the member's name, uh, the Minister has advised that uh, there is a fiscal um, implication in SOP number 147. Uh, that has not been the same with um, Moana Mackey's SOP number 144. So the, that's why the member's uh, SOP uh, has been ruled out of order. And speaking to the point of order? Uh, well, Dr. Kenny Graham, there's, there's really nothing to talk about, but Dr. Kenny Graham. Thank you, sir. I'm, uh, I, I, I would query, with respect, I query the fact that SOP 144 involves changes to the price cap, therefore has implications for fiscal no, these policy. Are de these are debating points, and um, in yes, terms sir. of these are debating points. In terms of the. Uh, the standing order, if we were to refer to uh, standing orders 325 uh, and also the um, uh, under speakers' rulings, there are a number of speakers' rulings as well. And the point that I made earlier was that the Minister has said in um, the case of SOP number 147 that there is an uh, impact on the government's fiscal aggregates. And so that has been ruled out of order. That same advice was not given on uh, SOP number 144 in the name of Moana Mackey. So that, uh, uh, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Um, the way that standing orders work is.